Hello, me again, your favorite video maker. Wanted to uh, share something with my AC class primarily, but it can be used for anybody. Um, and this is the imaginary... Um, number converter and I call it my conversion spreadsheet basically what I've got here is my real and imaginary these are my rectangular components rectangular imaginary numbers so I don't have the I in there but this would be 2 plus 2I two 3 plus 4I etc now <coughs> When I created the spreadsheet, I had to put in enough um, answers because I wanted to make sure the angles came out right. So what you see here is my test. I've got a first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and a fourth quadrant angle. And then I wanted to make sure that it was right when my angle should be 0, 90, 180, and minus 90. So I, I wanted to make sure the lines were right. So basically what I have in, in this cell is um, how I convert between um, these two in rectangular to the magnitude in the polar. And then my angle, there's my equation for my angle. And I had to use a lot of ands and ors and all that. So basically it's looking for something to be true and then it, and then it, figures out which logic to go and I had to do that to get my angles right um, it's perfectly fine to convert rectangular to polar you know uh, I recommend if you're doing it by hand that you plot it so you know which quadrant you're starting in and that way you know which quadrant you're ending in these angles are represented from the positive x-axis or the positive real axis Okay, and that's important because if you just put in numbers sometimes and you do arc tangent, you will get an angle that is not referenced back to your positive real axis. So that's, I had to go through and make sure that logic worked. So if I put in any real part and imaginary part, it will convert. And I saved it and I've, I've got it for whatever. Well, then I had to go the other way. What happens if I have um, magnitudes and angles and I want to go back to the rectangular? So I came down to the bottom here and I did a polar. So I put in the magnitude. I put in the angle. I'm assuming the angle's in degrees. You could change it and make it radians. Matter of fact, I think what I had to do was put in the conversion let's see I don't know two polar I'm rounding it if okay I don't remember I don't remember how I did it anyway it's been it's been a little while and so now what I'm doing is I want to be able to take the polar values and put into rectangular. So if somebody gives me a magnitude and an angle, I can convert it back to rectangular just by typing it in. So that's what I wanted to. Again, I put in the eight values so I could do all the coordinates, make sure everything comes out right. So three, there's my 90, there's my... There's my, there's my four on the axes, and then I think I've put in some different numbers since I made this. So that's a 10, 94, so that's first quadrant, second quadrant, fourth quadrant, just barely, and third quadrant. Or third quadrant, just barely, and fourth quadrant, sorry. And basically I worked it out. And I used three, four, five triangles a lot of times just because I knew about what the angle should be. 
when I did the conversion. So what I have here is a spreadsheet where I can type in any number. So 5 plus 78i and hit the enter and it's going to tell me there's my magnitude and there's the angle. Now with this spreadsheet I got to be careful not to type anything in the yellow areas. It has to if I'm going to go from rectangular to polar I got to put them in here. If I want to go to polar or rectangle I want to put them in there. So I've got that and then I've got the rest of my spreadsheet. A word on spreadsheets they're handy. A lot of people seem to like calculators. Calculators some of them have memories. But what you have here with an Excel spreadsheet is every cell is a calculator and you've got a memory. So you can just go back and see. So if you want to do equals 3 plus 4, you've got your 7. Now you want to do your next calculation. You can do it in the next cell down. And so now you have a record that you can visually and quickly look at to do that. So. I highly recommend using spreadsheets to do some math. There is some math you want to use, uh, like Scilab, if you're if you're solving sim simultaneous equations, uh, that kind of thing. But this way, you got a record. And I'm going to use this spreadsheet probably in in the next couple videos. I can save it if I want to keep a record of what I have done or not as long as I don't go in and change the yellow I've got my I've got my polar to rectangular converter and it's ready and I thought I'd share that with y'all thanks for watching